Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word from William Brooks. The title is, Woe to those who call darkness light and light darkness. And this word was posted July 31st, 2024. Hear the words of your Lord and Savior, my church, even my bride, for I am he who gives wisdom to the wise, that the wise among you may yet be wiser still. And I am the smith who stokes the fires of purification. So hear my words one and all, and bow the knee to my invitation to eternal life, and seek wisdom, for wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. So come to me with open heart and open arms, and bow the knee and continue to make me, Jesus the Nazarene, your eternal Lord. For I still am calling all who are heirs of everlasting life, though some are hard of hearing. But reject the, the wisdom of this world, which comes to nothing. For the wisdom of the world is from the princes of the world who all will very soon be bound for a thousand years in the abyss, in torment and punishment for their ways. For even in the heavy chains of which they will shortly be bound, they will understand their future, and they will tremble and quake for a thousand years as their appointed eternity in that ever-burning lake of putrid brimstone rolls and burns in the hottest flames of cobalt blue, for so Yahweh has prepared, their inheritance awaits them. For so is their heart's desire for the children of the living God, so Yahweh will turn their heart's desire back into their own bosoms, and so they will forever burn over and over into the eternity of eternities. For especially the fallen ones will receive of their own ways, for they are the fathers of sin, transgression, iniquity, and lawlessness, and their abominable acts will be given back to them eternally, and they will know and fully pay for every single sin they have ever committed many times over and over and over will their punishment be. For so has been found in their hearts, and their actions are forever and eternally detestable. For so are the ways of Yahweh, in what manner a person judges another, so shall indeed they be judged, and so is the fate and punishment of all who choose their own destruction, instead of eternal life in me, Jesus the Nazarene, for I am the Lamb of God. For whoever is foolish enough to rebel against the order of creation, even the natural orders of Yahweh who designed life as an interrelated tapestry, will share in their punishment. To rebel against the orders of life is to bring death and destruction to others, and great evil and great harm are accomplished by all who rebel in such fashion and who follow their own lusts to the detriment of others. To revel in the fallen one's rebellion is to join their ways, and all who do will forever share in their inheritance in everlasting flames, and there is no other choice. For of old and since the beginning, mankind has been given free will, and Adam was enticed by Eve, who took from the serpent, who beguiled her in his craftiness. So Adam and Eve chose death as the consequences for sin, for men were created exactly like the angels, to the intent that they should continue pure and righteous, and death, which destroys everything, could not have taken hold of them. And so the knowledge of good and evil has corrupted all who have eaten ever since, and the seed war has roared, and raged ever since Genesis, and the promised seed of the woman in much destruction, and in this war has nothing been spared from its consequences. 
To this very day, the entire creation travails and groans in pain, even now, because the creation also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the sons of God, and deliverance lingers not. But understand, my children, that to do that to this very day the seed war is won fully in me, Christ Jesus. For you are born again of an incorruptible seed, and in the Lamb of God was atonement made for the sins of mankind once and forevermore. And by the immeasurable power of Yahweh, death was conquered for all time in my resurrection from the dead. For it is impossible that death should hold me, for I am sinless, and the wages of sin is death. Yet I paid an unimaginable price for your deliverance and freedom, and the sons of the living God will at any moment find themselves standing in the throne room of God, clothed evermore in eternal life. So it is, and so it will be, that whoso calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved eternally and forevermore should they remain faithful in calling on my name to the end. For the fallen ones are defeated enemies, and now comes the times of utter destruction on their kingdom and complete punishment, as the wrath of the Lamb and the wrath of God are poured out in the days to come. For the day of the Lord is here, so hearken to my voice before the door to the ark is closed. Hear my words and understand my speech, for I speak of things currently underway, and even a great deception that would deceive the very elect should they choose to close their ears to my voice. I will now speak of the feral pigs, who seek to appear as though they are not in the pens they have been kept by my restrainer. Even the procession and orders of pigs that advances destruction day by day, bringing the earth even closer to total war and total calamity, for so is given them to accomplish, and God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will, for even Yahweh's enemies obey his voice. The pigs roll in their own filth, rooted rooting in the mire, and never are they satisfied, but will devour whatever they can as they root with their snouts to the earth, for they are of the earth, and they are blind to all else but the impulse of their belly, and the lusts of their father they will do. For so are the current leaders of the land, and they cry out in pain as they strike their victims, for nothing can fully satisfy these pigs, and they are utterly poisoned from the inside by their consumptions. For they are all unclean and are true tares, and so is their nature. These evil beasts are corrupt trees and without fruit, twice dead and plucked up by the roots. They will never have eternal life, and theirs are the ways of eternal death and destruction, even perpetual destruction in the inheritance of their fathers in that great lake of fiery blue. They are invasive in nature, and they ingratiate themselves at first seeking shelter as they cry the victim, even accusing others of the hate they perpetrate on the nations. They cry out in pain as they strike those whom they would destroy, so they may seem justified in their evil ways. For these brute beasts cannot be pitied, for theirs are the ways of destruction, and these will do the lusts of their father the devil, for his lusts are their pleasure, and so are they fulfilled. Woe to those who celebrate evil, and who call light darkness, and darkness light, for theirs are the ways of destruction, and from the eternal fires they will never escape. Understand, my children, that at any moment now the pigs will be freed from the pens in which they have been kept by the restrainer. For as the restrainer is removed, 
these seemingly domesticated and harmless pigs who pretend to be God's chosen will turn feral as soon as they are released from the restrainer's unbreakable grip, for so is their true nature. They will invade many lands and will consume all they find. They will feed on the death and destruction of others, for so is their nature. They have roamed from place to place, and they have their orders and social structures, for Yahweh even gives a level of intelligence and order even to the pigs. For Yahweh's ways are just and righteous. These pigs have no remorse. They have no feeling, and they have no problem eating the dead, even to suit their appetites, and will even eat the living if it suits their purposes. Behold the hour now is where the pigs will be unrestrained, and when they are, they will eat the land. They will devour the fat of the land. They will destroy peace utterly from the earth and will feed and roll in the bloodshed of total war. For even your evil entertainers sing of their ways, and their ways are no mystery. These feral pigs are made for destruction and for consuming the filth of the land to cleanse the earth for the purposes of Yahweh. Then they will be bound and cast into the eternal fires forevermore. For their sins are great, and their sins are many. But understand that these pigs have been kept in their pen for the appointed times, and many pretend to be appointed as holy vessels for their rising kingdom. And now is the time of their releasing, and they will now show their true nature they have disguised in seemingly pious clothing, and the black cube of Saturn is in the center of their star and even above the eyes. They seek to separate themselves, for they have chosen themselves to be God's own. But no man comes to Yahweh except through me, Jesus the Nazarene, of whom their fathers rejected, and those who have made me Lord are the true Israel of God and will be fully recreated in me as one new man whether Judean or Gentile, whether bond or free. These Edomite tares will be fully exposed for the frauds they are, and they will be utterly removed from the land and all the earth in great judgment and great punishment. But before they are removed, they will be permitted their bloodlust as their true nature is revealed for all to see. For currently they hide themselves in seemingly religious trappings. They feed on garbage. They feed on the dead. They attack and consume the living because their bloodlust is great and cannot be satisfied. And all the while they pretend they are holy. They pretend they are of the land and are rightful heirs. And they pretend not to be invaders, for their natural habitat is the wilderness and not the land of promise. And so is the nature of the pig, for as soon as they are returned to the wild, their true feral nature is fully exposed. Yet they pretend to live the identities of those they would conquer, and they will be utterly rooted out of the land and they have no root nor branch, for so Yahweh has promised. So understand, these pigs appear benevolent leaders of the promised land, when in fact they are ravenous beasts who thrive on genocide and will utterly seek to destroy anything of me, Christ Jesus. And they will even betray those of the land who follow their Talmudic orders into destruction, and yet a remnant of the land will come to me, Yeshua HaMashiach, for I will yet save Jacob. Woe to those who call darkness light and light darkness, even those who attack Yahweh and Yeshua HaMashiach by attacking the children of the living God, for in that they have done it to the least of one of my brothers, they have done it to me. 
and vengeance is mine, says the eternal Lord, and I will repay. So open your eyes, my children, and reject those who fly the star of Remphan on their banner, because to join them is to live in the tabernacle of Moloch and to bow before their Baphomet. Have I not told you to reckon the number of the beast, and that number is proudly displayed in that figure they made for themselves to worship their star god? For in the center of their star is their cube. Understand this parable, for six points lead to six triangles that make a hexagon, and within fits their cube. So reckon the number of the beast, and quit believing the lies of the Edomites, because they worship the fallen ones, and their god is the dragon. And since the days of Noah, even after the flood, nine-tenths of the disembodied spirits of the Nephilim have been restrained in the abyss. For Noah prayed for his grandsons, who were attacked by them and were overcome of them. And so Yahweh honored the request of Noah and bound the worst and most vile, and nine-tenths of their number have been kept in the abyss ever since. Hear me, and hear me well, my children, and understand the voice of your Lord. At the gathering of the faithful in my church, and even my bride to me in the clouds, the restrainer will be removed, and the abyss is set to be fully opened. Evil will no longer be restrained, because Yahweh has further restrained the fullness of Satan's kingdom, so those who are heirs of eternal salvation may be saved, even those who have made me their Lord in my times of grace and mercy. Since mankind has now rejected me, evil will no longer be restrained from mankind. Understand that all, even a huge multitude of these spirits, will all be released even a very great number that will utterly overwhelm the earth with unrestrained and unspeakable evil. For Enoch the scribe wrote regarding these, And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle and work destruction on the earth, and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst, and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men, and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. Have you not read in my holy word where I traveled through the country of the Gadarenes? For I cast spirits out of two who were possessed of them, and so I allowed these evil spirits to enter into a nearby herd of swine. Understand that the fullness of the dragon's kingdom is about to be unleashed for a short time, in order to drive those who ordained to eternal life into my saving arms. For these imprisoned spirits will be released to join Satan's kingdom fully on the face of the earth, and they will enter into the pigs yet once again. For they do battle with men and would overcome men, for their lusts can never be satisfied. And these are the spirits who empower the pigs and who work in tandem with the pigs. And these feral pigs are their vehicle. Not only them, but all who take their beastly mark will also become willing vehicles for these spirits who will war against mankind yet again. For they will once again devour natural man in these last times, for so it is appointed to happen in these end times. And the end has already begun, and is coming fully, so very soon as Jacob's trouble breaks across the land. The birth pangs are so close now, they are non-stop, and Yahweh has done many signs in the earth, and many signs and wonders in the firmament, and in the heavens, and in the earth. Yet so many still rationalize away these warnings 
in faithless reasoning. Behold, instead of coming to repentance, the masses are even entertained by swarms of insects that have overtaken many and in many lands across the earth, laughing and giggling at the warnings given by Yahweh to the earth, for the eternal God will rise from his habitation and will show himself and the fallen ones, do tremble for their times have come, and they are gripped in eternal fear. For you fallen ones thought you could take the eternal God by craft, when such a thing is not possible. For at what time have vessels of dishonor risen up to make war and take the potter by craft? But such is the insanity and arrogance of the fallen ones, and they will not escape their ever-burning kiln. So understand the times you live, and remain in me, my church, even my bride, for your full redemption and full inheritance lingers not, and you will not be left amongst the pigs, because you believed on my name in these days of grace and mercy, and so eternal grace and mercy will you forever have, and your brethren will join you in eternity and in my coming kingdom of righteousness, even all those who are not ready for my appearing. For I am the refiner who stokes the fires of purification, that I may purify the treasures of Yahweh, removing the dross, and I am he who sits as the smith with billow in hand, stoking the coals, and who folds and forges the precious metals of Yahweh to produce everlasting and unending strength. A great multitude, even a multitude of multitudes, will come to me through Jacob's trouble, and they will reap great reward, and they are heirs of eternal salvation, and into eternal joy will they go, and Israel will be saved. So fear not, my children, and worry not for your loved ones, and have faith in me, Christ Jesus, for I am able to save to the uttermost all who call on my name, and not one who is ordained to eternal life can be plucked from my hand, and I will save many from the eternal fires, even pulling them from the flames." I, Yeshua HaMashiach, have sent these words by my servant, and by my servant have these words been sent. I am he who gives wisdom to the wise, that the wise man may yet be wiser. I am the Lamb of God who is coming as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. I am sinless, and yet I paid an unimaginable price for your deliverance and freedom. I am he who sits as the smith who folds and forges the precious metals of Yahweh's treasures. I am able to save to the uttermost all who call on my name, and not one who is ordained to eternal life can be plucked from my hand. Watch for my appearing, for the times are here, the time remaining is given only to serve Yahweh's purposes, my children. So do not allow yourselves to be soothed to sleep yet once more, even ignoring my words of wisdom and many warnings. A wise man sees the plague and will hide himself. As for fools, they go on still and suffer harm. Have I not called you to Yahweh's ever-enduring wisdom? And I am he who will hide you where you could never hide yourselves, for I will hide you away in Yahweh's throne room, even in the heaven of heavens, where you will enter into the pleasure of your Lord, and the banquet halls of the heavens will celebrate you all, for sooner than you imagine you will see with your own eyes the majestic, eternal splendor that awaits you in your inheritance. Continue still in my love, for you are greatly beloved of my Father, 
and you are the apple of my eye, of whom I am not ashamed to call you my brethren. I, Yeshua HaMashiach, have spoken and sent these words, and so they are recorded, and the everlasting gospel has been revealed in its time. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.